One of the reasons why a lot of people do not install Majisk, why they do not root their smartphone, is because it can make it a little more difficult to install over-the-air updates. So whenever you get an over-the-air update notification, and you try to install it, it will check to see if your device is modified. If it has been modified, meaning if you have rooted the device, then it will not install that update. However, there is a way around this, and I'm going to show you how to install your next over-the-air update on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, even though you have root access to it. Now, I do want to say that this tutorial will not work if you have TWRP installed. This needs to be your stock recovery mode. So you need to have root access only by modifying that firmware file, not by flashing Majisk through TWRP. And just to show you, you can see I do have Majisk installed. It is up to date and I'm very easily able to bypass safety net checks. So even though I have that installed, when I go to check for an over-the-air update, like normal, you're going to be told that it is unable to do so because I have modified it, just like I mentioned. And you can even double check using the Windows program Samsung Smart Switch to find out if you actually have an over-the-air update waiting for you. So now I know that I do have an over-the-air update that I can install. And I know that I cannot install it the normal way. So I'm going to have to download this update manually on my computer. I'm going to do that with a program called SamFirm. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, I will include a link in my tutorial on Android Explained showing you how to download that firmware file manually on your PC. Because we need to download that file, patch it with Majisk, and then flash it with Odin. So I've just downloaded the next update for my Galaxy Note 10 via SamFirm. And it's going to give me this file right here. Which is a simple zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this. And this is going to give us individual image files that make up our entire firmware. Since we are doing this stuff manually, we, manually we're going to be taking one of these files and copying it to the Galaxy Note 10 so that we can patch it with Majisk. It is a bit tedious. We have to download the firmware on our desktop. We have to transfer one file to the phone so that we can patch it with Majisk. Then we transfer that patched file back to the desktop so that we can then flash the modified and patched image file via Odin. But again, it's not that big of a deal. You're going to be downloading this update anyway. So you might as well download the update on your fast desktop internet and make the modifications and then update the Galaxy Note 10 manually. And as I said, this is going to not only retain our root access, so we have our current Galaxy Note 10 on last month's update with Majisk installed. We're going to be updating to the latest version of Android. We're going to be keeping Majisk, and we're going to be keeping all of our data 
on the phone. That's the big key. We're keeping all of the data. We don't need to factory reset the phone. We don't need to set up our apps again. It's just as if we downloaded and installed the over-the-air update normally. So here we go. We're just going to throw this file in there to keep things organized. This is the contents of that file. We're going to be taking this AP file and copying it to our Galaxy Note 10 via the USB cable. So you can see we have that AP file has now been copied to the Galaxy Note 10. Now what we're going to do is open up Majisk. We're going to be tapping on the install button next to the Majisk option, not Majisk Manager, next to the Majisk option. We're going to tap on install again. And this time we're going to be tapping on the select and patch a file option. We take, we tap that, it's going to take us to a file browser that we can use to browse the location and folders of our device. Once we browse to the folder that we have that AP file located in, it's a big 5.5 gigabyte file for this update. We're going to tap that AP file and we're going to let Majisk patch this file for us. This process is going to take a couple of minutes. So be patient here. And you can actually see and read everything that's going along as it's happening. Once it's all done, it tells us it has placed the file, the patched file, in the download folder, which is where we were at before. You can see we're in that download folder. We have a Majisk underscore patched file now, just created. We're going to take that patched file. We're going to connect our phone to the PC again with the USB cable. We're going to copy this Majisk or patched file back to our PC in the same folder with those other firmware images. So here we have everything set up on our computer. We have the firmware files for the new update that we have yet to install. And we have the newly patched AP file, thanks to Majisk. So there's the rest of this tutorial is going to be f just like every other flash of a Samsung device that you've done with Odin. Except we're going to be using the home CSC button to make sure that our data is not deleted and we're going to be using this patched file instead of the AP file. So once we have the Galaxy Note 10 in download mode and we have it connected to the PC with a USB cable, you're going to see it's been added in the Odin log window. And I've opened up this Odin as an administrator, just as I always do. And again, like normal, we're going to be adding these firmware files here, just as I explained. So the BL file is going to go in the BL slot. The CP file is going to go in the CP slot. The home.css or CSC file is going to go in the CSC slot. Lastly, the Majisk patched file is going to go in the AP slot. Once all of that is done you can go ahead and check on the options. Make sure that we don't have anything like repartition or NAND erase checked. The default options of auto reboot and everything should be fine. But again just to check make sure those are set and then go ahead and click on start. Now when we click on start, it's going to be actively flashing these files to our Galaxy Note 10, just like we've done in previous Odin flashing tutorials. 
Again, it's fairly straightforward here. You've already done this as you've rooted the device previously, which is the same process. We just flashed the patched file over there. This time, we the only changes we made is we are sticking with the home CSC file so that data isn't erased from our device. The amount of time this process takes will depend on how fast your computer is, how fast the USB port is and your USB cable, and how big the update itself is. You saw the AP file itself was 5.5 gigs. So it just takes some time to send that those files over to the smartphone. Just be patient. Make sure you're not seeing any errors pop up down here. And we're just going to wait for the pass message up here at the top to tell us that everything is fine. Once that happens, our Galaxy Note 10 is going to reboot on its own. We're not even going to need to touch it. And it's going to boot us back into the Android operating system. So there we got our pass message. The Galaxy Note 10 has rebooted. Let me show you how that looks. So since Odin rebooted the Galaxy Note 10 on its own, I let the smartphone boot up and then I shut the device down so that I could then boot up with the power and volume up buttons so that I could actually load Majisk like you always need to if you want to boot up with Majisk installed. So now we have booted back up, we can go ahead and open up Majisk. You can see we are up to date on Majisk Manager and the Majisk itself still. Still passing safety net. And we can even go into the settings to see that we are on January's update now. Remember, we are we're on December's before. Now we are on January's security patch update with the latest version of Android on the Galaxy Note 10 as we have kept Majisk installed as well.